Hey guys, welcome to Pencil College. In today's video, we'll be moving on to chapter 4.2 on identities. So let us first look at the lesson objectives for this, um, for this chapter. So we want to learn how to find the unknown constants in a polynomial identity by comparing coefficients. So for those of you who are new to this term coefficient, let me explain what this term means. So coefficient is simply, again, okay, layman terms, the number in front of the, of, of the um, x that we're looking for, for example. So suppose I have two, suppose I have a function here, 2x squared plus 5x plus 7, okay? And maybe I'll let this function be fx. And uh, if I were to ask for the coefficient of, say, x, for example, and that would just be the number in front of x, which in this case is 5. Therefore, the coefficient of x is simply just 5. So the coefficient of x is just 5. Okay, and how about the coefficient of x squared, for example? The coefficient of x squared will be the number in front of x squared, which happens to be a 2 in this case. So therefore, the coefficient of x squared is just 2. Okay, and how about the constant term? There is a constant term over here, which is 7. And the constant term, okay, though, though it might look a little bit confusing to you, let me do some side working first. So x to the power of 0 is just 1, okay, because anything to the power of 0 is always 1. So therefore, the constant term can be viewed as 7 times x to the power of 0, which is the same as 7 times 1, okay. So the coefficient of x to the power of 0 or we can also call it the constant term is simply just 7 over here. Now let's move on to the um, property or rather the definition of the term identical. So polynomials are identical when every value of x simplifies each polynomial to the same value. So let me use a, a, a more tangible example to explain what this means. So suppose I have two polynomials over here, fx and gx. Now, if I were to expand gx, I will see, okay, so let me try to expand gx. So I'll, if I expand gx, I will see that it's x squared minus 2 squared which is the same as x squared minus 4. Okay, the rule that I'm using here is a minus b times a plus b equals to a squared minus b squared. This is a special property of, or rather a, a special algebraic property, okay, which you have learned, in your, learned earlier in your mathematics syllabus. Now, so if we were to compare fx and gx now, you will see that they are the same. And therefore, we can say that the two polynomials are identical. So just to summarize, for any x value, if fx equals to gx, then we can say that fx is identical to gx. And the reverse is true, okay? The reverse is also true. So this is the same as this, and uh, you know, the reverse is true. So since x squared minus 4 is equals to x plus 2 times x minus 2, okay, we can say that fx and gx are identical, and therefore, for any x value, fx is equals to gx. Okay, if you're feeling a little bit confused now, don't worry, okay, we'll be looking at more tangible examples in the next few slides. Next, let's move on to talk about how we can find some of the unknowns in, an, in a polynomial expression or an identity. So for example, if I have, if I let fx equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, okay, or we can say that they are unknown constants, then our job here will be to find out the values of a, b, and c. 
and we can do that okay and these are also known as the unknowns okay and we can do that via two methods the substitution method and the equating coefficients method okay so there are actually two methods to do this and you know to explain this uh, in, uh you know so that you can understand it will be more appropriate to use some examples so so let's say 